Hey guys, E. Latimer here. So today was really weird. I woke up to a really weirdly realistic dream that I was going to jail for six months. Really orange is a new black type of thing and I was super freaked out and I was going to jail for trespassing, I think. Oh, and riding a bike over somebody's pile of dirt. I guess it was really special dirt so they called the cops. Anyways, dreams. So. I woke up already freaked out over this because it was so, so realistic. And then I went to the kitchen in my bathrobe and there was a knock on the door and there was a police detective standing there. And of course my completely rational brain was like, oh, so they've come to take me to jail now. But he just wanted to ask some questions if I had heard anything at 6.30 a.m. in the morning because apparently somebody outside of my apartment got shot. Yeah. Good morning. So of course, me being the total nosy parker that I am, I decided to go to Starbucks to get coffee and went outside and the entire front of my building was taped off, the entire street actually, um, and that started getting some wheels turning. I mean, after the shock and horror wore off, naturally, I started thinking about police procedures because they've literally been there all day like a 24-hour thing for them. I started thinking about police procedures and how long they have to stay on a case and they have to stay there all day and sometimes two days and that from there got me thinking about story ideas and police procedures in stories and what if there was a supernatural element and I sort of stopped and thought somebody got murdered. Am I a horrible person for thinking up ideas about this, but that's kind of what writers do every single day, right? Is make up stories out of real life situations. That's what we get inspired by as weird and in this case as awful as that seems, it's what starts turning the wheels in our brains. Naturally, when anyone gets hurt, it's an awful thing. And of course, you're not going to have police show up at your door every day, you're not going to have crazy things happening outside of your apartment. I mean, hopefully you're not, and if you are, you should probably move. I should probably move. But you'll still have everyday experiences that will still sometimes trigger inspiration for you, especially if you pay close attention. Things like dialogue, public conflict, and just observing human nature. So for example, inspirational dialogue, you can be sitting in a coffee shop or on the bus and hear people talking around you, hear uh, how they talk to each other, hear the things they're saying, and a lot of the time, even if it's just inspiration for natural dialogue, it's a great thing to do. Just sit down and listen sometimes. Just make sure no one catches you eavesdropping on their conversation because they'll, they're not going to understand you're a writer and you're just doing research. They'll think you're creepy. A lot of the time there's a little bit of conflict on the bus. You know, I've had slightly off people get on and start yelling at other people or the bus driver gets mad at people and there's always going to be conflict that arises when humans are crammed into this tight little box on wheels. So as sometimes as much as it can get uncomfortable, it's still really good to pay attention to what's going on and log it away for later. Of course, if the guy yelling on the bus starts throwing elbows, you should probably retreat to the corner and not be scribbling notes, but you know what I mean. So that's kind of my subject today, inspiration with, okay, not everyday things that happen. I mean, normally it's everyday things that happen. Um, sometimes it's horrifying crimes outside of your building. Hopefully, hopefully not usually, hopefully not ever for anyone else. So that was kind of my takeaway from today. Aside from be very careful while you're walking at night, and I'm probably going to sleep with a baseball bat now. So yeah. Don't forget, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, the Wardeners are doing our live chat every Sunday, and we would love to see you there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.